The wait is almost over. The final preps are underway for the first of two nights of Democratic debates in downtown Detroit. 20 presidential hopefuls will be facing off tonight and tomorrow night to try to win over your vote. 7 Axe News reporter Jennifer Ann Wilson is live outside the Fox Theater where the debates are being held. And Jen, what's the mood like down there this morning? Well, I think there's a lot of excitement here and people I spoke with yesterday say they just want a politician to tell it like it is. They don't want to have to interpret them. And today at the CNN uh, debates, these candidates only have 60 seconds to answer a question, so they will have to get right to the point. And if they interrupt one of their colleagues, they're going to have time docked. Unlike the debates in Miami, this time around, there will be no group questions asking candidates to raise their hand if they agree or disagree. But the biggest difference of all is that the issues they're expected to address all are expected to relate to Detroit and the state of Michigan. 20 will take the stage, but ultimately only one Democratic candidate will survive, much like the Hunger Games. The goal at this point in the game is to thin out the competition. Each candidate will have 60 seconds to answer questions, which are expected to be aimed at the coveted Midwest voter and address Michigan concerns. Environmental issues like clean drinking water addressing what happened in Flint, international trade deals which impact manufacturing and ultimately jobs. Some will try to steer the conversation to plans just released. In the last couple of weeks, former Vice President Joe Biden released a criminal justice plan. Kamala Harris released a safe drinking water plan. Beto O'Rourke released an education equity plan. But with a field of 20, it may be tough to tell one politician for another. Well, if you have tickets or if you don't have tickets, but you're planning on coming down to one of the watch parties coming up in the next 30 minutes, I'll tell you what you need to know to navigate downtown. All the extra security measures and the road closures will help you get around that. Plus, let you know if you are looking out for the people who might spar, we've got predictions on that as well. Reporting live here in downtown Detroit, I'm Jennifer Ann Wilson, 7 Action News.